welcome to this short little video on the non-parametric bootstrap confidence intervals for one sample. So the first thing we're going to do is just load in the data. Uh, we'll use the crime data set. It's in the usual place. We know where it is. We're going to focus in this uh, example on the gross state product per capita. Um, the GSP per capita uh, in 1990 or 2000, let's just go ahead and do 2000. GSP is gross state product. It's the total, we, we can think of it as the total wealth in the state. Uh, per capita means you're dividing by the population, so it's a measure of average wealth. All uh, non-parametric bootstrap for one sample has more or less the same structure. Uh, you sample from the data with replacement. You measure your statistic on it. You repeat that process a lot of times. So in doing so, we get a distribution for that statistic. So assuming that our sample is indeed representative of the population, if we were to go out there and sample randomly from this population 10,000 times, and 1 times 10 to the 4 is 10,000, and measure those sample means, this would be the distribution of those sample means. Now, the confidence interval is just, as usual, the uh, a set of values that are reasonable for the population mean. 95% um, confidence interval is going to be between uh, 32,424 and $37,467. That's the estimate for the population mean gross state product per capita in 2000. That's all there is to it. Sample from the data, measure your statistic, do it many times. Remember, R needs you to specify that the TS variable is going to be a, a vector. The histogram gives you the distribution of those statistics, and the quantile gives you that 95% confidence interval for the mean, for the population. Now we can do the same thing, except we can do it for the population median. Notice I copied and pasted. And notice where I'm just changing, changing all the means to medians. Run that. Histogram. This is the distribution, or the estimated distribution of sample medians when taken from the population. This will give you the 95% confidence interval for the sample median. Or, I'm sorry, 95% confidence interval for the population median. We're 95% confident that the true population median is between $31,183 and $35,405. We could do it for not just the mean and the median. We could also do it for the standard deviation. Notice what's changed. Instead of the mean or the median, standard deviation. That's it. Here's a histogram of the standard deviations. These are a histogram of the sample standard deviations. Here's a 95% confidence interval for the population standard deviation. We're 95% confident that the population standard deviation, sigma, is between 5,127 and 12,864. We could also do it for the coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is just the standard deviation divided by the absolute value of the mean. This is how you calculate the coefficient of variation. Standard deviation divided by the absolute value of the mean. There's the histogram. By the way, coefficient of variation is, is a scaled variance, or standard deviation really. Um, it allows you to compare variation across multiple variables much more easily. There's the 95% uh, confidence interval for the coefficient of variation in the population. We're 95% confident that the population coefficient of variation is between 0.15 and 0.35. Notice that uh, non-parametric bootstrap for one sample confidence intervals are very, very similar to each other. The only thing that really changes is the statistic that you're measuring. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, take care.